In the 7th anniversary teaser trailer of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, we see a lot of crazy stuff like Timebreaker Paragus, a totally beast looking Broly choking Toa. I've played enough games to know where that's going. We also see some GD stuff and then as usual over the top DBH transformations. However, there are two scenes that have us interested. In one, we see Goku fighting Jiren and things look totally intense. Goku's shirt is ripped off and an epic shot of silver-eyed, ultra instinct awakened, internet breaking Goku. Now, what we see in the last episode, Goku unlocking the ability of subconscious body movement, something even the gods of destruction struggle to master, all that looked epic and started a hype still on fire, but it didn't take us long to realize that it was just a preview of what Goku is ultimately gonna achieve in the tournament of power. Even the first poster, Goku had his shirt ripped off and the aura was slightly different with a shade of red. It totally makes sense because Goku had just discovered that new ability. If you look at this shot, Goku dodges Jiren and instantly look at his body. Like, even he is impressed how fast his body is reacting. When he gets a bit more used to it, it'll only mean trouble for Jiren. By the way, the tournament is only half done. I think the special episode consumed 5 minutes of the battle royal time and we now have around 25 minutes left to go. Goku and Jiren will keep fighting other fighters before the last 10-15 minutes when they will probably collide again which will be like the final battle of the tournament. And you can expect something like what we just saw in the teaser of Dragon Ball Heroes, except this time Goku will probably be the one to get the upper hand. Some latest spoilers are hinting, Hitman Head will be eliminated in episode 111 or 112, but in the preview we see Hit landing a legit blow on Jiren's chest which leaves a mark on Jiren, something that didn't happen before that. So I think as Goku watches Hit fight Jiren, some of Jiren's technique will get exposed to Goku's eye which he will use to his advantage later on. Ultra Instinct gave Goku a lot of new abilities, the mere presence of them shook the infinite realm. We also know Goku now evolve in power as he fights. According to Dragon Ball Super episode 113 spoilers, after getting challenged by Kalifla, Goku told her that he doesn't even have enough energy to go Super Saiyan, but as he fights he will gain back his energy. In episode 114, energy drained Goku will fight Barzor Kale and will have a hard time dealing with her. Also there has been talks about a new super warrior appearing, it could be about the universe 4 invisible warrior. So by fighting them Goku will evolve in strength, power and energy and then fight Jiren for the final time. I have a feeling that Kale will give a brutal fight to energy drained Goku and Goku will already have his clothes ripped even before he fights Jiren. Although I do think something emotionally triggering might happen like someone dying which will assist Goku to attain maximum power. You might say killing is not allowed but then again someone might kill and get eliminated himself. Or there could be tricky situation like Jiren reversing an attack back to someone then dying of own attack when disqualify anyone else like the great priest explained in the last episode. Another thing one of Dragon Ball Heroes cutscene showed was an almost empty stage with 3 fighters implying the last 3 survivors will be Goku, Frieza and Jiren. Do you think it could come down to that? I mean yeah, I certainly see Frieza playing a major role the way he was brought back, he must serve a greater purpose and also do something no one can expect. But top 3? I'm not sure. By the way, if anyone is not familiar with Dragon Ball Heroes, it's a game and it's not in any ways related to Dragon Ball Super. Anything they show has absolutely no obligation to align with Super in any ways. However, because it's a Dragon Ball game, they do have some insights about the series we don't have. We saw SSB there for the first time and even they hinted some major stuff of future Trunks arc. If I'm not wrong, I remember seeing Zamasu beforehand, so yeah, it's worth taking a look.
Uh, their cutscenes are really cool, by the way, and gets really good response, which is they keep making them almost every month. I like most of their art style and animation quality. Comment your opinion about all this. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.